75-year-old female was referred for a cardiac CT after a transthoracic echocardiogram showed a possible left atrial mass. The goal of the coronary CTA was to show the relationship of the mass to the adjacent structures, in particular the atrium and the pulmonary veins, and also to try to characterize the possible movement of the mass. In order to do that, we will first review the axial images, which show a lobulated mass adjacent to the interatrial septum, which abuts the origin or inflow of the pulmonary veins from the right lung. What we will then do is use multiplanar techniques by obtaining a four-chamber, two-chamber, and short axis view of the heart in order to best characterize the mass and its relationship to structures. The short axis view shows that the mass has a broad-based relationship or attachment to the interatrial septum. This is confirmed by reviewing the four-chamber view, and the mass does encroach on the inflow for the right superior and inferior pulmonary veins. What we'll then we'll do is look at the functional images to see if there's any motion of the mass. Our four-chamber image shows that the mass does have a broad base but does not move through the mitral valve annulus. It does not extend into either pulmonary vein and respects the margin of the interatrial septum. This is again shown on the short axis view. This mass was believed based on its location, its well lobulated margins, the absence of calcifications to be myxoma, and this patient was sent for surgery where this diagnosis was confirmed.